All right, everyone, craziness. Okay, we got the foam rollers here. I'm organizing my camera gear, my running gear, all that good stuff. And I just want to clarify, a couple days ago, I opened, up, uh, I opened up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, questions that all of you have for me. And I somebody asked about an IT band injury. At least they said that they have a pain on the side of their knee. And I said at the beginning of the vlog that uh, I am not a doctor, not a medical professional, so always seek out medical uh, advice first, medical professional advice first. I'm speaking from experience. So I just want to clarify, I'll always admit and tell you maybe if I'm wrong or if I'm misleading someone too much. Um, so uh, I, based on research online, talking to your doctor, they might advise you not to roll out your IT band directly on it, but rather roll out with a foam roller on the, on the basically the muscles surrounding the IT band rather than directly on it. For me, and again, I'm speaking from experience, not from a medical background, I've been rolling, so I haven't had an IT band injury since high school. I've been rolling out my IT band uh, directly on it for 15 years, and I've stayed IT band injury free for 15 years but I've built up a tolerance to that, okay? So I think that's what I failed to mention two days ago and clarify, so I apologize. Thank you to everyone that pointed that out to me about rolling out the IT band uh, directly on it. It's not advised for me, again, 15 years of rolling it out directly on it. And a quick side story, guys at CU who suffered from my, when I, so I ran in college at the University of Colorado. We were encouraged, we needed to get back from injuries as quick as possible. So we did crazy things uh, in order to stay healthy, like, because time is money in college when you're running as, a, as an athlete, as far as like making the team, scoring points for the team. And so some guys, I did this a little bit, not too much, but they, we would not even use, <laughs> some guys would not, when, guys that suffered from IT band injuries would not even use a foam roller. They would use a PVC pipe. A big a PVC pipe this big so we're talking craziness but sure enough it worked for them and they came back and they were rolling out a lot like and that's that's the aggressive track just always 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 seek out medical professional advice over what I say I'm just trying to communicate my experience and I apologize that I did not maybe clarify that two days ago so shout out to everyone who uh, pointed that out to me in the comments uh, yesterday, I believe it was. So anyway, all right, speaking of rolling out, let's do it. I'm gonna roll out and then get my jog on nice and easy, taper, 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 and then we're gonna fire up the grill. Just having a good weekend here. Hope you're having a good weekend wherever you're at. And by the way, thanks to everyone who told uh, the YouTube family where you are from around the world. It's crazy. It's absolutely amazing. Denmark, Singapore, um, uh, Brazil, uh, Honduras, Australia, New Zealand, all over the world. So shout out to everyone around the world. Um, thank you for watching. That's all I can say. Thank you for watching. All right, let's go. All right, see you in 27 minutes. Not gonna bring the GoPro today, no GoPro. Actually, that's two days in a row. Interesting. I'm just chilling out, just chilling out. All right, here we go. There we are, there we are. Easy does it, easy does it. All right, I got uh, you can here. Gonna replace some little bit of electrolytes that I lost. So right there, let's keep that recovery going. Leading into race week, so. Oh man, you can is treating the stomach well for electrolytes and uh, just let me know. Hold on, let me just get this going. Powder, a little water. Da -da -da -da. Okay, everyone, tip of the day. Just let me know if this is too much information down in the comments. Tip of the day, here you go. I always clip my toenails a week before my peak race. So I know, a little TMI right there. Basically, I don't do it the night before or two days before because I think everyone out there in the world has cut their toenails a little too close and it can actually hurt when you're running if you cut your toenails too low. So I always go at least, or no, no closer than a week to the race so that they can just grow back just a little bit in case you clip your toenails too. I, I know, don't worry, I'm not gonna film it for you all, but that's my little tip of the day for today. And so that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I won't film it, I promise, I promise. Oh, and the reason I clip my toenails before peak race is to try and prevent any blisters from happening during the race, especially if we're talking longer races, like half marathon and above. Oh. 
So I was gonna go with a Steinbeck book, East of Eden, for my novel to chill out during this last, like even today, like three miles, it's like when you're tapering, you've got a, you've got quite a bit of more time on your hands because you're not running as much. So uh, that was one of my tips for uh, staying calm before a race is to read a novel. So I was gonna go with Steinbeck, but I pivoted. I went to something shorter, something a little more digestible. Look how thick that Steinbeck book is. So I went with J.D. Salinger, Franny and Zoe. Love this book. A good twist at the end and a good message at the end. So Franny and Zoe, sure enough. Salinger, oh man, throwback to, throw to high school right here. Oh yeah, rest is done for now. I love that book. Okay, it's that time of the week again. Fire it up, fire it up. Dun, 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 dun. This is when you need some butter, right here. Butter my corn, butter my corn. Oh yeah, so good, so good. Hopefully those shots of the grilling are not making you all too hungry. Apologize if they are. Ah, oh, it's I remember, that was I think point number three for how I stay calm before a peak race, I grill. I just, cause why? Cause I sit, I watch the grill, I listen to classical music, the kids are playing in the backyard, we're just chilling, we're just chilling. So that's one of the ways I relax. Okay, moving on to, the, to today's run before we get into the article from today in the Gazette. The Ultra Timps, these are a trail running shoe. So why am I running through the streets of Denver in an Ultra Timp? Basically, I really like the midsole on the Timp. And so, yes, I will take them out on the trails after Pikes Peak, but for now, I'm just actually enjoying using them on the roads, and I, I, it's, it's a nice recovery day shoe for me with a midsole and the zero drop. And today was three miles, 5K, 9.30 per mile, about six, I think it looks like a little over 6.30 per kilometer. It's on your screen for you right now, or maybe a little under 630 per kilometer. So just chilling out after yesterday's hard effort on Grace Peak. And um, yes, I would say, remember, I was going to update you. The goal is to add one point to the freshness scale every day. And I'll have to roll out tonight, but so far I'm feeling pretty good. Um, again, later tonight, I'll roll out, stretch, and get you an update again Tomorrow. Okay, the article from today, or actually it was published on Thursday, August 15th, 2019, in the Gazette, the local newspaper of Colorado Springs, where the Pikes Peak Ascent is tank, taking place. And this was written by John Moore, uh, and it's an op ed, and it's titled A Massive Letdown to Competitors. And it, it says this On August 11th, less than two weeks before the Pikes Peak Ascent, race staff announced that spectators would not be permitted to access the summit during the event. This letter seeks to reverse that decision so that competitors can celebrate their achievement with their loved ones. Oh, oh, ow. A little surprised, I'll be honest. So what is going on? Basically, they're building a new visitor center at the top of the mountain. So just so you know, I'm gonna be running up the trail, but you can also drive up on a, on a road on the backside of Pikes Peak and it's kind of nice because then you know spectators family friends can drive up and cheer on their loved ones as the article says at the finish line uh so i was looking forward to that very much so having true love having the boys on top 
Uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. But, so that's, that's a negative, okay? We're gonna go with reverse for the keyword, and here's why. Basically, I don't let anything get in my way. I don't, this, my approach is, there's always gonna be little or big negative situations that pop up in our lives. It's inevitable. It's part of being a human being. Therefore, yes, it's a bummer, but I did read on the pikespeakmarathon.com or .org website that they're gonna have a camera on top and they're gonna live stream the finish line and they're gonna have a big screen down in Memorial Park at the starting line. So true love, the boys, family, friends, all of you can hang out in Memorial Park and watch the finish line from a comfy chair down at the bottom. Uh, but here's where I'm actually gonna reverse and turn it into a positive. I think what's gonna happen is that some people that are maybe able and ambitious enough, I think they're gonna hike up to the top or at least hike a little ways up the trail and I'm actually, I, I bet, because there's a lot of spectators that go up to the top, I bet people are gonna hike up, uh, here comes myself and the leaders and everybody else, and I'm hoping that those people hiking up cheer us on. Because basically, once the gun goes off at the starting line, you take off, and by mile one, you're on the trails, and by mile three, you're pretty solo. So it's really kind of, except for the aid stations, you're kind of out there, oh, hold. So you're kind of out there in no man's land. So I'm hoping that because people cannot drive up, that they end up hiking up a little bit and, uh, and, and cheering along the way. Because that'll frankly really help me a ton. So anyway, I'm turning it into a positive and I'm just gonna put it out there right now. How could you help me at the, at the Pikes Peak Ascent if you are planning to go? Here's the deal. If you're planning to go, you know it would be amazing? Pull out, here we go, this is my old, here, oh here it is. Pull out your phone and get a video clip. And I will try to include that clip into the next day's vlog. Basically, you'll just have to email me the clip. My email is down below or send it to me through Google Drive, all right? Or Dropbox or however you wanna send it. It's really easy these days to send a video clip, but make sure you don't film it vertically, film it horizontally and you email it to me that day and I will get the clip and then I'll, if you, if you are planning to hike up, that would be amazing. That would help me out a ton since nobody will be at the top to film the finish line. Capiche? Does that sound good? So anyway, actually not the question of the day, but if you are planning to be there, let me know. And of course we'll say hello after the race. Uh, I can't wait to meet all of you, but um, that's just, that's an idea that I had in case you are there. If just pull out your phone, film horizontally, you know, maybe a 10, 20 second clip, send it to me, and who knows, maybe we can make it work and I can put it in the vlog, I'll give you credit as well. All right, and the question of the day, when was the last time you had to, that you can remember, that you had to reverse a negative into a positive, whether in the running world, real life, or the combination of the two, okay? So that's the question of the day. How, when was the last time you turned a kind of a negative situation into a positive? I love you all. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. I know we're in taper mode, so the vlogs are a little different right now. Uh, not as much filming as far as running goes, but this is the taper, baby. This is the taper. I love you. Ah, uh, uh, excited, excited. All right, ultra temps, phone, newspaper, life is good, seek beauty. Oh, two vlogs at the end. The, the Pikes Peak Ascent race from two years ago will be on the left and on the right hand side. I'm just gonna pick a random vlog from the last month. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.